how did you guys miss that bug do you have test cases around this show me that your test cases let me know how you can prevent this all right so this is exactly the scenario that i have seen many times right so let's discuss about this in this video hey guys welcome to the testing academy and in this video we will discuss about if someone asks you right okay how did you miss that bug and there are many times where we miss the production bugs right how you can prevent them uh, what are the important reasons and top reasons why you miss most of the bugs and we'll discuss couple of more concepts okay so to be honest if you already know right uh, fixing if you go if you see this diagram right where cost of bug versus where you need to fix stage at which they can be fixed right uh, if you see if after production the cost of cost to fix a particular bug is very very high right so people try to avoid the bugs in production rather than they will avoid uh, so you can have your bugs or the errors or concerns initially at the idea phases design phases development phases or testing phases right but you can't have this you generally people are little stakeholders especially are uh, more concerned about if they uh, if you if you have a bug in the production right so we will discuss about the top reasons uh, why generally we miss bugs okay okay so let's uh, discuss about the top reasons all right uh, you didn't test it actually this is uh, really important you missly you basically miss the area where you need to test it completely this has happened with me many many times where uh, i was uh, not able to read the requirement properly and i missed one or couple of points in the requirements where this leads to the bug so make sure how you can prevent this right uh, ask for the entry and the exist criteria right so this is really important what are the entry criteria when we start the testing what are the things that we need to take care and exit criteria what should be the what should what are the things that you need to be tested uh, before giving the sign off right so this is really important how how this is how you can prevent this thing also so you didn't test it and the second important thing is basically you didn't cover the corner cases so let me mix both of them where uh, many times let me zoom a little bit right okay so you have no clue about the user behavior this this happened with me many times so there was a, a banking application that i was working on when i had around 2 3 years experience right i didn't have an idea how their tax calculation works uh, in us right what what is this irs and why they have put like uh, what is 4ok and other things and all right so i had no clue about it and that's where we have missed the bug because of that so uh i didn't know how that app basically work i was too naive to understand the user experience and lack of experience was the problem and lack of wisdom was the problem for it okay so how you can prevent this is basically you need to ask them what how where this application will be used what should i know to test this application are we covering the all important test cases basically what you will do is you will prepare certain test cases get it reviewed by your stakeholders because they know the application right they have prepared it they're going to release it and the user are going to use it so make sure you review your test cases with them so that you can prevent the production bugs guys this is really really important to review get your test cases review people are not doing it okay and the third point is you assume the requirement which i have done multiple time this is actually what is expected how you can how you can prevent this is for example button example side in e-commerce this is uh, one of the example that i remember now is uh, there was a particular button which was not supposed to be there and i thought okay this is a contactless button it's fine right but that contact button was not working and people are have reported there that bug that production bug multiple time and it basically caused a severity to that e-commerce platform okay so this is really important don't assume anything don't assume anything as a software tester if you don't know discuss the requirement don't assume anything this is really important don't assume anything discuss the requirement clearly is this button is there it should be there or not please let me know doubt create a doubt in jira ask your developers okay uh, many times due to the time pressure you miss the bugs how my experience poor estimates to the bugs poor estimate basically means uh there is a particular scenario of that example i have given you right same banking application for a us bank 
I have given them okay, it will take around three days. But actually, my couple of my colleagues have told me that it will take around one week to test this application because you don't have experience. You will get the experience and all this. But I have given overconfidently, and what leads to that? It leads to basically bugs because I have given the poor estimates. I was only able to. Uh, basically cover the positive scenarios i was not able to do the negative scenarios and that lead to the production box so pro give them give up give them a proper timeline let your stakeholders know that it will it will take time as software tester justify your time with the estimates you are take, going to take the kt you will understand the bug you will prepare a test cases you will review your test cases you will execute the test cases you will take the bug holder take the bug report you will basically recycle and after fixing your bug you will retest it so make sure you take your time and that time will basically decrease the production bugs okay that you can do uh, you saw the problem but you didn't report it this is really important many times i have seen many times uh, i just saw an issue but ignored it i thought why do why should i report it or probably it will get rejected by developers so let's not do that and what i would suggest is let your developers know about the edge cases or the random behavior that you are seeing so there was one application uh, mobile 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 application we have created and i was a tester for that and i saw a couple of times there was a random fail random crash uh, i didn't discuss with the developer and that led to a major bug in the production and at the same time uh, there was a similar crash and now i have learned the uh, lesson i had discussed with the developer even though i didn't know about the test uh, know the didn't know about the failure how to basically reproduce that bug but developer was able to fix that bug okay and that lead to i think that that saved a lot of time so report everything share your risk and ask more question to the developer this is how you can prevent your bugs okay how to prevent it document everything create, create your test cases peer review ask question to the developer ask about risk what if uh, this uh, production bug what if, if this fail what will happen if the api is not working what will happen ask question as many worst case scenario what uh, you can ask developer worst case scenario is uh, if this button is not working what will happen rca prepared for template trick what you can say they say is that i have already rca prepared for it uh, so that you can prevent the bugs okay uh, now let's discuss about the in interesting thing other important reasons of to uh, you how you can uh, basically miss that bug due to the communication and the time constraint that i have seen uh, you basically got the requirement you tested the product but due to the communication between you and developer and the pm you three of us are not able to properly grab the requirement and that leads to bug that i have seen multiple times lack of skill set that i have told you banking application example application complexity complication was too complex and you didn't have experience a uh, qa absence from the sprint meeting this is really important many times i have seen people qa was not included initially and they have included in the end time where they have missed the core concept of that application and that leads to production bug this is many time i have seen this personally okay so i hope this makes sense guys uh, this was it uh, this was uh, all about the how did you mix that bug i hope you have learned something the points uh, another important point i would like to give you is make sure you watch the bug, uh, videos related to what to do when there is a bug in production how to find the root cause analysis if there is a production in bug production bug and there are a couple of other videos okay so make sure you search in the production bug in the testing academy channel and you will find these two videos i want you to watch those videos because those two videos will basically help you to avoid the production bugs all right thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video bye